So hi out there in Diamond Painting Land. This is Tina Fraser coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Monday, September 7th at approximately 2.08 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with an afternoon update because I didn't film one this weekend. And today is Labor Day in the United States. So we are celebrating those who, um, you know, work hard for a living. And... Um, yeah, today is a national holiday that everybody in the United States celebrates for Labor Day. So, um, you know, we have a, another holiday in May called Memorial Day that's also on a Monday. That is for the, um, you know, the to remember all of the um, people that gave their lives serving the country. So, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. Um I kind of wish the Labor Day weekend lasted all week, so it was Labor Day, Labor Week, and not just Labor Day, because I could use a long time off. Um, I have some stitchy updates for you. Um, I didn't write down um, any necessary, necessarily new. Um, what is that? Hold on, just a minute, please. So sorry about that you know, a couple minute pause for me and barely a second pause for you. I just kind of wanted to look up a couple of things on YouTube. So I've been watching some YouTube this week, um, including the homework videos for School of Magical Stitches, um, just because this week's homework is a little different. There's been some other YouTubers that I've been watching recently. Obviously, you know, there's Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching, Stitcherista, um, Kia B. Um, the Lord and Lady of Stitchshire. Um, and there's a new one that I kind of came across this week. His uh, YouTube channel is Stitchin' Grandpa. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-I-N Grandpa. And I don't, I haven't watched his videos yet, but it seemed kind of interesting. He's got um. 56 videos out there and he's actually working on the heaven and earth designs princess and the pea from jasmine beckett griffith that is one of my whips i don't have i'm not very far on it but um that is one of my whips and um he look it looks like he's doing quite a few hades on here i'm sorry i'm looking at my other monitor um uh, next to my laptop um but yeah he started floss tube about a year ago and he's been going strong. He's at episode number 56 right now. And uh, so he's uh, doing pretty good. I'm working, it looks like working on the Princess and the Pea and also the River Cottage by Heaven and Earth Designs. So if you're interested, I will put his link down below. He's also working on Santa and Frosty from Heaven and Earth Designs. I think it's one of those ornament ones with Santa and Frosty. Um, but yeah. So um, if you're interested, check out the Stitchin' Grandpa. Um, there's some other ones that I've been watching, like Kia B, obviously, Carla being crafty. Hi, Carla. Hope everything is going well for you out there. Hope you're braving the heat. I know you said on your most recent video that it was really, really hot. It's not that way in Ohio. So I'm missing you guys. I hope you guys are um, doing good. Uh, this is a shirt. I'm, I got from a friend of mine who went to the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. It has a really pretty design on the back of flowers um i uh, dug this out i haven't worn it before so it's a brand new shirt for me um i have not been to the great smoky mountains in tennessee i've probably driven through them but i haven't been there to stop uh let's see some other people on uh youtube um there is i'm gonna write these down lisa abby's needleworks lisa a b b e y apostrophe s lisa abby's needle works these are some of the newer channels that i'm probably gonna um start watching here pretty soon she's on it looks like she's got floss tube number 50 out that was just released about a week ago stitch in button s-t-i-t-c-h the letter n button stitch and button uh, she's on floss tube 63 that was released about a week ago um, of course there's michelle bendy stitchy Almond M N M S. So Almond A L M O N D. The letter capital letter M. The lowercase letter N. 
the capital letter M, lowercase s, almond M&Ms. She's on floss tube seven. I watched up to floss tube five of hers. Um, she's She also has some floss tubes um, done in Spanish. So if you're into um, like listening to Spanish and increasing your, um, your Spanish vocabulary and uh, <laughs> how well you can read and speak Spanish, you should probably go watch her. She is on, she has uh, seven videos uploaded right now. Actually more than that, one, two, three, she has 10 videos uploaded. Three of them are in, uh, it looks like two of them are in Spanish right now. But she stitches um, a lot of samplers, a lot of big pieces, and I believe she's the one that stitches everything over one. So she's, uh, she's pretty good. Um, she's very interesting to listen to and her pieces are pretty amazing. So um, then there's also, oh, this is a new one to me. I haven't seen her before. Um, this is the Sassanac Stitcher. Um, I haven't seen her before. This was on my face, on uh, my YouTube uh, suggestions. Um, she is got. She has got uh, 15 floss tube videos. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. She, technically, she has 14. She skipped number 10. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why she skipped number 10, but she jumps from... Uh, oh, it's okay. Whatever. Maybe she doesn't realize, but that's okay. Um, so we have the Sassanac Stitcher. Um, she's on Flash Tube 15 that was also released about a week ago. So um, I'm going to have to watch her. These are some new, new to me. Um, people that either I haven't watched yet that I'm planning on keeping on my radar or people that I've watched a little bit of and I think you should go watch. Um, there's also one more. Mama Loves You GB Michelle. And she's got two videos out. Um, her second one was just released two days ago. Her first one came out a week ago. So it's Mama Loves You GB um, M O M M A L O V E S Y O U G B Michelle and Michelle is its own separate word. So again, um, I will link these, um, YouTube, uh, f cross stitchers for you, um, in the description box below so you can go check them out. Let me know what you think. All right, so um, not really much in the Stitchy update thing. Um, I have uh, the um, the magazine monthly challenge group in Facebook. Um, you know, all these all these challenge group links will be linked below. Um, all the the magazine monthly challenge group this month's um, acrostic is the word leaves. L e a v e s. I have Enchanted Pumpkin on my. Um, as one of the E's on um, the thing. I don't remember if I, I don't think I've gotten very far on this since the last time, but I will go ahead and show you this anyway. So here is Enchanted Pumpkin. This is where I'm at. Um, I haven't made very much progress. I think last week I had done a little bit here and a little bit in here to fill in. Haven't done any progress. Um, I have a goal for the Magazine Monthly Challenge on this to finish the stitching. So I have, you can see, um, or maybe not see, but you can see that I have um, basically this whole entire corner to go. And I also have black stitching that goes in the pumpkin. Um, so I have a lot of stitching to do on this before the end of the month. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but goal was to do stitching. Um, So anyway, um, I don't have any new progress on um, Frosted Pumpkin's Midnight Way, so I didn't bring it down here. Um, this kind of sits down here at my desk um, just because if I have a few minutes and I need a break, I can easily take it out and add some stitches to it. But this is the Mill Hill Enchanted Pumpkin. Um, the other project I started this week because the magazine monthly challenge um, 
started September 1st. That's This is the first month. Um, so my focus piece for autumn and fall, that's the theme for the Magazine Monthly Challenge, is um, Bewitching Owl. This is from the Cross Stitch and Needlework September 2012 magazine. Um, so I had a new start on this. I just, I was doing it on some black even weave fabric that I had on hand. And um, so there's like 500, 500, no, there's more than that on here now because I did some last night. Um, but yeah, so this is where I got, this is the, um, this might help. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this light. There we go. So this is the moon. And then the red in here is the owl, the top of the owl. So you can see here, um, it is his ears at the top. They're in the red. So that's where I've gotten on um, that. My goal for the um, monthly focus for Magazine Monthly Challenge is to um, either finish the moon, which kind of comes down around here, or finish the owl, which is, there's a lot more stitches to do in the owl. So chances are likely I'm going to finish the moon. Now a little story on this, where this these open spots are right in here and right here, um, that is for DMC 743. And I couldn't find my DMC 743, so I ended up having to go buy it. I, I picked it up yesterday. So I actually started on the 743 up in here, but 743 goes in here. So I finally have um, enough to do that. All right. So that is my progress on um, Bewitching Owl from the Cross Stitch and Work September 2012. Um, don't really have any more, any other progress because I've kind of been working on that all week. Um, the other plans, so the homework for School of Magical Stitches this week is, um, we're visiting the decks of the cruise ship because we're reading Kingdom Keepers Book 5 by Ridley Pearson and it is called Shell Game and it's where the, um, Kingdom Keepers have to go on the Disney cruise to kind of stop the overtakers from... Uh, completing their goal. So we are boarding a cruise ship. So this week has the school magical St stitches homework has to deal with the decks of a ship or the decks of the Disney cruise ship or one of the Disney cruise ships. So, um, so we have to stitch an amount correlating to that number of the deck that we're visiting. So we're visiting deck one, which is the health center and security. So we have to do one stitch, 10 stitches, 100 stitches, 113 stitches. So you get it. It has to, the um, number of stitches we do has to start with one. It could be a thousand stitches. It could be a hundred stitches. It could be 10 stitches. It could be 18 stitches. It could be whatever. Um, so for that one, I am starting, I will be starting, hopefully, pandemic so I have yet to start that that is the long dog samplers pandemic um, I will be doing this on a 28 count even weave that I personally hand dyed I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off because it'll wash this out so this is um, I still haven't started this but I've shown you I've shown you the fabric so this is my hand dot my um, hand dyed um, 28 count even weave fabric um, I just did this with Rit Dye. The color I used was Harvest. I let it sit in the um, Rit Dye water for about an hour and then rinsed it out. Um, I will be starting this, um, again, I showed this before. Um, I had originally purchased like almost 30 skeins of the DMC Variegated Floss in the color 69. But I decided that I wanted to kind of make it work up quicker. So I pulled, I purchased Sulky, uh, three or two 330 yard spools of Sulky. And this is in the colorway, what color? Merlot. It's color 7134067 in the color Merlot. So this is what I will be doing on my pandemic. And I'm hoping to start that this week. I've got lots of little 
strays, 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 strays. Just gonna go ahead and clip a couple of these. It's just stuff off the edge, no worries. Um, but yeah, so um, plan is, I believe, to do this 28 or over two. I have to measure to make sure that my uh, fabric, I didn't assume that I was gonna do this over one. I didn't think I was gonna do this over one. I thought I was gonna do this over two. At least I think that's my original thinking. But uh, yeah, so that is gonna be a start for deck one for School of Magical Stitches. Um, deck, the next deck is deck three. This is where you board the, you board the, um, you board the, the boat. Um, and it has a grand staircase, Walt Disney Theater, Royal Palace Restaurant, Animator's Palace Restaurant, stuff like that. Um, I don't know if, um, I might have to kind of rethink that because I originally was going to do Skeleton Crew because, you know, it shows the deck that you would board the boat on. Um, and I'll probably stick to that because then I can just do 300 stitches on Skeleton Crew. I haven't pulled Skeleton Crew out in a little while. Um, it's by the Cricut Collection. Um, I don't have it down here. Otherwise, I'd show you. Um, and then um, deck four is the Buena Vista Theater, Shutters, Photoshop, Evolution, Disco, and Nightclub in the Tube, or the Walking and Jogging Track. There's some other, you can Google like what other, um, what other attractions are on each deck to give you an idea, but this kind of tells you where to go. So um, deck five is the next deck. It's the Vibe Disco and Lounge for teens only. So like, you know, you could do something related to video games and stuff for teens. The Bippity Boppity Boutique and cabins like the sleeping cabins um so for deck five i'm probably also going to work on pandemic for probably 500 stitches so i'm going to put 100 stitches in pandemic for deck one another 500 of 500 stitches in pandemic for deck two or deck five um so that'll get me 600 stitches in pandemic which would be a really good start um the next one is deck 10 um uh, located navigation bridge ad adjacent captain suite and officers quarters for this one I'm definitely going to do skeleton crew um, at least that's the plan for probably a hundred stitches maybe a hundred and ten hundred and five stitches I don't know um, but because it's deck 10 it has to the number you stitch has to start with one zero so it can be a thousand it can be a thousand ten thousand thirty one um, 100 so I'm probably I'm gonna shoot for 100 stitches on skeleton crew if I make it for deck three that would put 400 stitches on skeleton crew for the month deck 11 um, so we're skipping some of the decks deck 11 is the senses spawn fitness complex the quest cove pool ice cream treats bar funnel vision deck stage and Donald's pool um, they had uh, brought up on the School of Magical Stitches homework video this week that since there's a lot of swimming pools and stuff, you can kind of focus on something that has water. So I'm probably going to try and focus um, at least 110 stitches on the seahorses by Fireside Originals. Again, I don't have it down here. I hadn't planned this. So I hadn't planned this super well. So um, I will pull that out if I get to it this week. And then deck 14 is the radio studio. Um, where they have live programs and scheduled events, and then you have the Disney Dream Cruise itinerary comes out from the Deck 14. Um, so your goal this week is to stitch a thousand stitches. There's no penalty stitches this week, so you stitch a total of a thousand stitches amongst your thing. If you visit five of the decks, you get um, a thousand bonus stitches. If you vi visit all seven decks, you get two thousand bonus stitches. And you also have to explain why you visited that deck and kind of tie it into your pieces. Um, so this last week, I actually uh, tried a new, a little bit of a new challenge in one of the challenge groups. I uh, participated in the myth Mythological Stitchers Challenge Group. Um, I stitched um, 500 projects um, last this last week. I stitched 500 stitches. On a project with the winged creature, my um, bewitching owl made that. I did 503 stitches um, as of yesterday um, or Saturday. So I was able to complete 
um, week three for that. So that was kind of cool. This week is Rainbow Serpent. It goes until the 13th. We have to stitch 500 stitches on a project with a rainbow or using variegated thread. Since I will, I am technically using Sulky variegated thread, you can kind of see the variegations in that. It's like reds, um, kind of a wine um, thing, reds and purples. Um, on Pandemic, um, I am going to kind of double dip with school magical stitches since I have pandemic listed on here twice for 600 since I have pandemic listed in school magical stitches twice for one for 100 stitches one for 500 stitches um, I can easily get the um, uh, week four challenge for mythological stitches challenges in there too on pandemic because I have to do 500 stitches or five hours so that would knock out two with that one and then next week is um, Coyote. It's 500 stitches on a project relating to winter. Um, my plan is to dig out four seasons for that. So I am not really sure. Um, for the um, for the magazine monthly challenge acrostic, um, digging out my thing here. So one of the other pieces that I have in here is Amid Amish Life, Epic Where's, Where's Waldo Pokemon, um, the Acorn by Fireset Originals. Um, must have taken, taken it back upstairs already. Nope, here it is. So we have the Acorn by Fireside Originals. Um, that is on my list. Um, I have the kit in here for it. Um, so it's whatever the call, little called for kit was that they had kitted up for it um, on. Yeah, it doesn't really say, but I have the little kit for it. So that'll be a quick stitch. I can probably actually stitch that in an evening or come really close to it or even just make it a weekend thing. So my goal for that is to stitch and start. I am also um, work on Enchanted Pumpkin. I talked about that. And Seahorses, Seahorses from Fireside Original. So if I can... Uh, um, if I can work on um, that for school magical stitches that will put me really close to the September finishing the September acrostic entry for um, magazine monthly challenge um, for the acrostic for um, September for the um, Oh, so for 24 hours of cross stitch so the um, acrostic for that is 1440 minutes um, acrostic I have completed something on here um, so so for the zero I had zero stitches or a new start um, bewitching L cross stitch and needlework I put to, put in 200 stitches I completed that on the first because on the first I had put in 216 stitches so I actually did finish that and um, for midway there's only a couple on here so I also have for the E in minutes um, enchanted pumpkin finished the stitching for the Mill Hill kit and stone hearth hutch so there's a couple of different things I can do um, double double triple quadruple dip for some of the things going on this month so I just have to remember what's on my plate which is the trick because there's a lot Don't really have anything new. Um, the threads that I had ordered for pumpkin swirl, um, I showed you that I did get the beads in. So the beads, you can hear the beads. The beads are in here. I did get one of the dinky dyes glasses. The other dinky dyes glasses for this are um, on order. Once they come in, I'll be able to hopefully get started on this for something soon. Um, Don't really have much in the way of any other updates other than just kind of watching YouTube. I have been watching Athletes Unlimited Softball. Um, it is a new concept in professional softball um, where the players earn points for hitting the ball and fielding the ball and the teams earn points for winning. The pitchers earn points for pitching and getting outs. And it's just, it's just an interesting concept. So if you're interested in, um, if you like softball like I do, 
and uh, you're interested in the new um, the new professional softball league structure, um, you can watch Athletes Unlimited. They play a lot of a lot of the games are aired on ESPN three. So if you have access to ESPN three, I encourage you to look it up. It's been kind of interesting. They're starting. Um, they're finishing up week two tonight. So tomorrow they'll do the draft for week three. So the leaderboard every week changes. The top four people on the leaderboard, the top four players. There's like 56 players in the league. The top four players will be the next week's team captains, and then they will draft their teams. So the teams change week every week. There's basically four teams are picked, 14 players per team. Four teams are picked, and they, um, the team captains, the leaders, the four leaders at the end of the week um, become the next week's team captains. And then they draft their teams on Tuesday and then they, you know, practice and then they play on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So each team plays three games against the other other three teams. Um, so there's two games on Saturday, two games on Sunday, two games on Monday. Um, and um, it's been kind of interesting to watch. It's it's kind of neat. I, I kind of like it. So, um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of well-known college players are playing in professional. None of them are in college anymore, but because um, I don't think that would make them eligible for college play if they were getting paid to play softball. But um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. They're in a five-week thing. So this week will be the third week and there'll be like two more weeks after that. Um, I believe it's five five weeks. I can't remember for sure. But anyway, it goes it goes on for a little while. So it's pretty interesting. I've been watching that too. Um, Besides a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, the other thing, the other group that I actually helped participate in was the Myth and Magic Stitch Wars group. I am considered a villager because I haven't been put into a clan as of yet. I don't think I'm going to be put into a clan. I kind of don't really want to because I kind of just want to be able to stitch when I can. But the... Um, the there's no there's no battle quote unquote battle going on um right now in september and october it's they're kind of in a break right now the clans are healing they're traveling from location to location right now trying to reach an ultimate destination and they're collecting items along the way and as a villager you basically stitch 175 stitches to earn a sparkly pebble and you can gift that to any of the clans that need it um and for every 175 stitches you get that's however many pebbles you can gift but you can only i think you can only gift one pebble a day i think it's villagers can only gift one pebble a day and clans can only receive up to, I think, three total per day. So, um, yeah, I actually did that with this, uh, with uh, Bewitching Owl. I had, I counted one of the, one of the legs of stitching this week as uh, getting a pebble for that. So that was the first time I participated in something for that. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of getting, getting into some things to see what I can work on. Anyway, that's the update. Oh goodness, that's the update I have for you this week. Um, I'm just going to kind of be working on some various things. I'll probably get more, more owl done. Um, hopefully I need to get some of the moon worked on. Um, although he isn't in any of the, um, homework, um, for this week, I'm going to work, I'm going to start pandemic. Um, and there's also a pandemic stitch along going on for the stitchy quest to destroy the one ring. Um, the pandemic stitch along started July 1st. Um, but, uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to, uh, get in on that. The stitchy quest to destroy the one ring. Um, they're doing catch up challenges. Um, they had the one ring quest one. I have to go through. I'm going to try to go through and um, catch up and kind of get some of these quests started again. Um, they just finished the prologue quest three, um, which had uh, one, two, three, four, five, basically five tasks in quest three. Um, they were all 250 stitches. 
so um, there's like 1250 stitches total um, quest 2 ended on the 21st of August um, there's just you know different things that you can do there's different different things you can try and do to get um, get going forward on some of your whips um, a couple of people are doing somebody suggested doing Nora November so you do Nora Corbett pieces in November somebody's doing um, it was another another person somebody said um, Spooktober where you work on nothing but Halloween pieces um, or start it all in October Spooktober um, some people are doing start that November where you start everything in November in preparation for for no new starts 2021 I am NOT participating in no new starts 2021 cuz yeah I can't limit myself to no new starts <laughs> just can't do it so anyway there's there's just a lot of stuff going on so anyway hopefully that is enough for you hopefully I'll have some start on my pandemic um and we'll kind of take it from there all right that's all i got for you this week so hopefully you got something inter some interesting stuff out of here hopefully you found a new youtuber to watch um i know i'm going to be watching some new ones um hi out there every oh one of the things i forgot to say if you're if you're a new a new watcher thank you for watching i hope you found something here that you can use some helpful tips and tricks or you know just some inspiration to start a new project or to try something new that you haven't tried before um, if you're a returning watcher thank you for watching again I'm glad you came back please please hopefully hopefully you'll come back some more and um, if you're um, if you're interested in um, more information or watching my channel some more I encourage you to hit the subscribe button below and to click the notification bell so you can be up notified when I upload new content um, I'm trying to do this weekly it's kinda maybe every week week and a half two weeks um, it just kinda depends on my time and when I can find time to film and if I have updates for you um, but uh, you know I kinda talk about cross stitch and diamond painting and other crafts I may do and uh, just some of the other things going on um, in my life including ghost hunting and some other stuff like that um, but anyway if you're a subscriber thank you very much thank you for subscribing I hope you're still getting some good content out of my channel and I hope you <laughs> bring your friends and have them come watch all right so anyway here we go again you know taking a couple minutes roundaboutly to say goodbye so anyway, that's all I got for you this week. Until next time, keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay indoors if you're dealing with um, conditions that aren't necessarily good for your health, like the extreme heat out in California, over 100 degrees out there, the wildfires, wherever you happen to maybe be wherever you happen to be um, hopefully you can stay indoors and stay out of the smoke and all the you know nasty stuff that's in the air because of the fires um, just you know stay safe and if you do happen to go out please 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 wear your masks because it'll keep everyone around you safe from whatever you may be carrying okay so it's not about you right now it's about everyone else around you so just make sure you wear a mask all right so take care and until next time we'll see you soon bye so how there again in uh floss to blend this is tina frazier i had actually forgot that this week i got a new grime guard from garon tote bag and this week's grime guard i haven't opened it yet i get the 11 by 11 grime guards um, I'm on the Grime Guard of the Month, and um, I, you know, for the Grime Guard of the Month, they actually, um, every month, they do a drawing, and the Grime Guard of the Month people win the matching project bag for that month. I've won the project bag twice now since I've been on the Grime Guard of the Month. I'm in my second year, so yeah, I've won the project bags twice. Um, but anyway, so this is this month. Oh, this is cute, you guys. Oh, it's summer beach umbrellas. Look at that. It's summer beach umbrellas. That is too cute. Hi, Anne. Hi. Hi.
Hiya, hiya. Oh, umbrellas. Yeah, isn't that and cute? On a sunny beach. Yeah, isn't that cute? So, yeah. Mmm, it smells really good, too. So, it's my summer grand guard from Garon Totem Beds. So, that is something new that I got this week as well. So that is it. I will put the information for the Garon Toten Bags Grand Guard of the Month down below, along with all the other information that I talked about in my video. And um, until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.